Is that a Samsung? No, this is an LG uh, V10. So we're live here, Matt Sweetwood and... Gio Espinoza or... Dr. Gio. Dr. Gio. <laughs> See, and when you go live, we're talking about Facebook Live now. We were having a little technical discussion here at the... How do you say this, Lee Payne? Le... Well, is a... Is a, is a is a French name, which I struggle with those pronunciations, but it's Le Pen Quachien. Oh, forget and it. I think I got it wrong. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't learn much uh, French in New Jersey. <laughs> Not, neither did I in the, in the Bronx. Yeah, right. So we're going to try not to butcher the French. Right. But anyway, we're at this Le Pen on Park Avenue in Manhattan, and this is like a romantic spot for us. This is. This has uh, significant meaning, certainly for me, uh, maybe for you as well. Right. As a matter of fact, the bench we were sitting at, we were sitting right over there. Right. And I was in here talking to, I think it was my publicist at the time, and I was talking about my book, and you were eavesdropping. Talking loudly. Loudly. One, one can say I, w I, was, I was eavesdropping, but... I have a gentle I, voice. I, I think anyone can eavesdrop when you're talking. Yeah, right. <laughs> No, what are you talking about? I have a very soft and sweet voice. <laughs> so I was talking about my book, Man Up. Yeah. And as life coincidences happen, as we all know there are no coincidences in right. life. Right, right. Um, you kind of are in a related field. Why don't you talk about a little bit what you do? It was actually, it's one of those things, and, and hopefully that's one of the messages we can share with our audience, where, yeah, there are no coincidences in life, and just, you know, just approach people. Right, so you were talking to your publicist, and the you know, and I was trying to do some work. Of course, I couldn't because right. <laughs> it was this huge distraction going on further down. And then, you know, you were talking about something that's meaningful for me, which is your uh, your Man Up project and, and your book. And we, you know, so in my world, I. As you hear some background noise, uh, I think the... by the way my Sennheiser mic should be really good for that. It's very directional. Oh yeah, but they're grinding fingers in the background <laughs> over there. So in my in my line of work, um, I'm a holistic, integrative, and functional doctor in urology and men's health. Right, so I like to know everything that affects a man's health. Um, one of my purposes in life, as we were discussing Matt earlier, is to how can you know we, we how can we help men not die young, and young can be anything under under 90, and, I'm with really, you. <laughs> and really live with optimal health. So so as I heard your conversation with your publicist, you know, I think it was that I just approached you and I said, hey, that's very interesting. What are you working on? Are you working on a book? And we just started talking and we become kindred spirits after that point, uh, not just because not just because we go to the same barber, that's but, right. <laughs> but because we I have a lot in common and we're right. just two cool dudes, you know, connecting. And and it's been, uh, you know, it's been great. How long? How it's long? A, it was probably about a year, a year, a, a year ago. A year. So in that time, I almost had my book finished. So my book is called Man Up. It's gonna, it'll come out hopefully soon. And the it Man talk, Up, yeah. And it's, a, and I have a Man Up project which right. helps men through divorce and dating and all the difficult and good times in their in their lives and the good times the bad times all the times in between. all the times and ultimately it's really about you know the quality of life for men and helping them through that you know after having raised five kids on my own after their mother left I've had some adventures along the way you know I have successful grown-up kids you know yeah. I know you have children yep. that are uh, a little bit younger 12 yep. what are the 12 so yeah 12 and a half 11 and a half and four years old that's yeah, right so, See, so you have a bad start because my hair like it took longer for the hair to go but We'll see what it looks like when your kids are in their 20s, too. But, okay, so we have we had a really interesting discussion when we first met today. You know, we both have, you're a doctor. Yep. I'm, I mean, he's a doctor. I'm like, I'm sort of, you know, just wandering the city, <laughs> not doing much. But we both have very, very busy lives. And one of the comments I made was, like, it, it's too long in between since we've actually hung out with each other. We hung out with each other, and then we ended up producing a video which... Uh, ended up doing really well. I wrote an article about, I think it was called The Five Ways for Men to Stay Healthy. It's something like that. If you go on my blog, it's there. Right. And if you go to Dr. Geo's website at drgeo.com, I have that right? Correct. Geo with an E. G oh, right. Good point. D-R-G-E-O. Dot com. Dot com. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. You can go out there and you can read. He puts out great stuff literally weekly on men's health issues. And if you go to my site, msweetwood.com, you'll see all sorts of articles which talk about fatherhood and parenting and men's issues too. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we 
We have a question out there from one of my buddies. He wants to know whether you're a Devils fan. Absolutely not. Actually, I'm not a big hockey fan. Is that bad? No, it's okay. As long as you're not a Ranger fan, that's all I And so I am a Rangers fan when I do pay attention to hockey. Rangers. So even so, Ranger and Devil fans, that's another good point, right? We can get along. That's right. That's right. (laughs) It's kind of like a Clinton and a Trump supporter, maybe. (laughs) No, we actually talked about that. We don't think there's any way that can happen. (laughs) But in any event, one of the things we talked about is that when you get into these busy lives, what you end up doing is you end up meeting with people and spending most of your time with people you don't want to be with because you want to dispose of them. You want to get rid of it, get the meeting out of the way. And as men, I think this is particularly true. I think you had something really good to say about that. Why don't we do that as men? What is it about men that just sort of, we don't go out with people that feel good, but we don't really try to do that as a way. We tend to handle business more. What is that? You know, it's a good, you know, so it's something that um, I ponder a lot quite a bit for numerous reasons. Number one, uh, I want to live long and well. Number two, this is what I do for a living also. My job, again, is to help people, you know, get healthier, become, uh, you know, live functionally uh, as they age. So, you know, it's actually not my opinion that men should get together. Uh, A few weeks ago, there was an article written in the New York Times uh, how important it is and the fact that we struggle with that. Um, You know, we, 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 men try to avoid warm, warm and fuzzy feelings, right? Clearly not us. us. Clearly not Clearly. us. <laughs> you know, they, men try to avoid these that's things. That's right. And so that's one factor. The other factor is that, of course, um, I think men are very much focused on being productive. I couldn't agree more. I think that's what it's about for me is that, like, I never learned to play before I work. My work is done. And since work is never done, you kind of you know, never you don't play. play. That's right. And even in our case, like, where we've done, like, business together, like, I would almost consider this business. We're both, this video is about our brand and what we talk about. And, you know, you're certainly talking professionally. And I have a book and I'm doing all those things. Even when it sort of helps us, we tend to still, for some reason, try to dispose of the people, you know, or dispose of the things and spend our time on things we don't like. I felt bad. Like the instant I saw you, I actually it hurt me a little bit. So I'm like, how have I not, like, how have we not gotten together and just hung out? You know, you're Absolutely. somebody I like. I want to be with. Exactly. And, and so I think men, as a rule, I think we have to make it more of a conscious decision to push those people aside that we don't care for one, that we don't necessarily want to be with. I mean, we have to do it sometimes, work, whatever. But I think we should make a concerted effort every week to meet with people or hang with people that we want to be with. I think it's good for our health. It's good for everything, right? Here, here, it's absolutely good for your health. Um, ultimately, when I ask, uh, you know, I've seen thousands of patients now, everything from prostate cancer to heart disease to everything, mostly men. And when I ask uh, one very, you know, fundamental question as to, look, why do you want to be healthier? So once you get your health, hopefully you'll get that in a short period of time. What are you going to, what are you going to do with it? Every answer comes out to be the same ultimately once you keep peeling the the, uh, layers. And that is um, they want to spend more time with those people they love. These are men telling me this. So that's the reason. So why don't we spend more time? It has to be, here's the deal. It has to be a I must, just like exercising. Right, like we have once no you, problem doing that, right? We'll you, go to exercise. Once you start, exactly. But what well, so a lot of people do. You, you're very disciplined, but I have tons of patients that have a hard time. That, Who's Pepe? He's um, he's actually the publicist for BB. He's actually probably watching from Madrid. Pepe Madrid? Is, Madrid. Pepe, you out there? Que viva Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> His name is not Pepe, it's Pepe. Yeah, Come Pepe, on, Pepe. Why, why, yeah, that, that's right. Stop Americanizing yeah, that's, his name. Um, is Pepe. Soy muy gringo. <laughs> Pepe. Pepe. Come Pepe, on. Pepe, okay. What is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I continue my point? Please, yes, yes. More I mean, importantly. You, you're drawing me away from my point here. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. But a really good point. So it has to be an I must, not an I should. Oftentimes, the only thing that men think is an I must is related to work. The meetings, the board meetings, uh, board, uh, B-O-R-E-D meetings. That, that's correct. That's right. Right? We're taking, even still, we'll do things to take care of our family, like if our significant other, I don't have one single here in New York, but if... Married, so, three kids, 
happily married, actually. Love you, honey, if you're watching. Hi, Mom. <laughs> God rest her soul. Sorry, Mom. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. But I think the must aspect, I think, is what it's about, is that we must make time for those valuable relationships, the things that really provide us with benefit, us with the kinds of things in our lives that improve the quality of our lives instead of just focusing on everybody else. I think it's also we're providers, right? So we're always focusing on providing, like me with my kids, even though they're older now, I'm always trying to, like, I'll give them my time. My, my two daughters stay over with me this weekend for the Thanksgiving holiday. They were over my place the entire weekend, and I gave them really as much right. time as I could. But to go out and do something for myself, I don't know, I just, somehow you just don't always make it a priority. So I think the operative word, we're going to take your word, is must. Is that we should, I must. So I guess the advice we're giving to men is that they have to make time each week to do things that are good for them, meet with people in particular that are good for them. Even if it's Correct. not good for everybody else, it's good for you, you go meet with Let them. me take that one step further, because I think it's absolutely imperative that we get the right message across. You have to clearly define what it is that is important to you. What, what, what it is that you think is it's, it's important to your life. You can easily say to yourself, well, what's important to me is to provide and have all these meetings that I don't that's need right. to have and be with people that I don't care about. And that's it. If I start meeting with Matt Sweetwood every, every week, that's just a waste of time. You kidding me? I, can't, yeah. I don't have two hours, right? That's right. It is absolutely imperative, absolutely imperative for, for the well-being of men, specifically since this is our field and this is where we work in, absolutely imperative for men to spend time with those they love your spouse, if you have one, your girlfriend, if you have one, or boyfriend, if you have one, your kids, and people that are outside of your immediate family. We have so much to share. What that, what that does is, number one, it helps, us, uh, it helps us find answers. We were just talking. I learned today from you, like, three things that I'm going to act on right away. That's right. And I, actually, and I actually got from you some really good things. And actually, I'm saving a really good one for the end after I really wanted to talk to you. A, a physical thing I was going to ask you about, right? And so... I think what it is, is that because we get in this mode of helping everybody, like I was just saying this to my assistant this morning, every meeting I've had for the last week is somebody who wants something from me. Right. Or it's just straight work related. Right. But they want something from me. Right. If they're calling me, texting me, contacting me, whatever it is, they want me to do something for them. Every single person. And we have to make it a point to go with people like, I'm coming to this meeting. I had no agenda, nothing, just wanted to see you. In fact, catch remember, up. Catch up. And remember how I phrased it. I said, I had a crazy day. I could have found eight excuses to not come here. Absolutely. I moved meetings. As I did whatever. I'm like, I'm just going because otherwise it'll be another whatever because there's no. So the mandate needs to be we need to do things and meet with it's people a must. that are good for us emotionally. And that's what it's men must. have trouble, I think, doing is you just need to do things that are good for your, your emotions and your feelings are just as important. Absolutely. It, and it's and I can tell you, forget about my opinion. It's a fact. It's in the literature. It's, a, it's in the scientific literature that this helps men live longer and better. Happiness. So there's a direct relationship between, is it balance? Is it really what it's balanced? What is it? it? It's probably biochemical, where you release more good feeling chemicals that are really good for you. You know, in our bodies, we have a pharmacy, right? We have a pharmacy. So if we have pain, we have in our bodies, if you know how to stimulate a certain area of your brain to release opioids, natural opioids. We also have harmful chemicals in our bodies that when overproduced, it de depresses our immune system. How many times, I don't know if you've seen, you probably have, somebody die quickly after maybe their child died or the their spouse, spouse, spouse died. Spouse, Absolutely, right? you hear it all the time. Dying yeah. from a broken yes. heart. Why is that? Because there are chemicals that are released that are uh, uh, um, sad chemicals. Um, that are released that depresses your immune system and it shuts everything down. Well, the opposite is also true when you're spending good times with people that you love and you care for. That's right. And when you meet people, like there were two suggestions out there. Jose actually... Um, is Jose also from uh, Madrid? Yeah, that's Pepe. You said it right. See, I, I'm learning. I'm learning. See, positivism and optimism are my weapons against it. But I think the point that he made previously was really on the money, which was get rid of toxic people or limit your exposure to them or balance them. If you have to be with, you know, sometimes in our jobs or work, there's no choice. You, you have to be around these people sometimes. You need to balance them. But in all chances, try to get rid of these negative people out of your life 
or try to meet, you know, I think the balance is the word, because we know we can't eliminate all of those people. You know, I have a business, a man who is uh, very successful. That's for someone who says, who, who, who are you showing? why do I have a giraffe in my pocket? It's a pocket square. This is just a New York style, that, yeah, you know, right. the stylish guy here in that's New right, York. That's right, that's <laughs> right. What, what do you call this? Look at this. I mean, I mean, he's rocking the vest and the tie. Come look on. At, look in the corner. Yeah, now, do, you, do you have a, you don't have a pocket? Of course not. That's for old folks. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think, Dana, don't you think the pocket square looks hot? Come on, Dana. Dana, you don't have to lie to him. <laughs> Where were we? Um, we were talking about the balance between toxic people. So I have yeah. a business. Uh, so yeah. a, 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 yeah, a, yeah. Uh, a patient was a businessman successful. He said to me, so I, I learned so much from my patient. He said, I don't, do, I don't do business with toxic people. I just don't. I have to have a good time while doing business. Yeah, I'm the same way too. Uh, you know what my expression why, is? Why wait, I don't know if this is good to say in front of a doctor. I always say that if I don't do business with them, I'm still going to eat steak tonight. <laughs> it turns out that steak uh, prob from Madrid, specifically <laughs> in Argentina, is actually not a bad thing. So okay, but we'll save that for we'll another. We'll save that for but another. But you understand segment. the expression is like if you push these toxic people out, your life will still go on and your life will be a better quality. So I agree with you. We we really just need to make do the decision. Get toxic people out of your life mm -hmm. and continue to be out there. Uh, and make good relationships. I just walked to you a year ago because you were talking about something interesting. I think that's right. Was that a comfortable situation for me? Not really. You know, I, I, I put myself in a somewhat potential vulnerable situation. That's right, because I could have been like, get lost. You could have been an, an, an asshole. That's right. Well, <laughs> more, of one, more of one than I am to me. <laughs> and you could have said, get lost, what, yeah, yeah. right? But I put myself in an uncomfortable, vulnerable situation. I like the topic, and it, it's probably it's one of the greatest decisions I've made. I've made quite a few, thank goodness. But really, that moment, we we become kindred spirits beyond our work. That's right. We we started talking today about how's life, and it's really, you know, th th it's just that bonding, that male bond. Um, that you can only have was so have the courage and, and just do it really just do you know it. And, and it's funny like I said this morning I literally was sitting I went to lunch with my assistant today I was sitting there it's like and she's like what's the matter I'm like I'm just tired of all these people and people are aggravating me this is how and I feel so much better right now just sitting and I mean we basically blew what two hours this afternoon yeah blown in the best possible in the way best possible, possible I feel way positive about life again I feel good it's all kind of making me feel much better about things absolutely make it happen so here's here's can I could summarize everything? Because I, I, the takeaway has to be, you know, it's always in my in my world uh, related to health. How can we not die young, and how can we live with optimal functional health as we get older? That's always my goal, whether it's related to cancer or whatever. And, and one of the things, and, and you know, I'm a holistic practitioner, so we talk about exercise, nutrition, clean nutrients, botanical herb, everything. Connection, connecting with people is one of the key ingredients to yeah. living long and well. I think that's great. And, and I do tons of research. And, you know, living in New York, you would think, you know, I'm living in New York, I've got the single life here in New York, you think that would mean that I'm a, but it's very easy to sort of fall within your apartment and get things delivered to you and just sort of, you know, go to work, do your thing and come home and, and not connect to people. And I think that's beautiful. I actually think that's really, we have to make connecting with positive people, people that are good for you, a priority, a must sort of like as a rule, I'm going to connect with X number of people every week, you know, and that's going to improve the quality of my life. It just did today. I'm living it. I'm living it actually right now. You become who you are depending on your environment. So worry, so, so worry, be surrounded by, by good. good. That's right, Dana. You're absolutely right. Right. We'll give you a like on that one. Let's give her a like. Right. That's right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Dana's actually in Israel right now. Oh, right? yeah? That's right. All right, so we'll, we'll, say, we'll say, see. We have we're worldwide here. We're actually worldwide. So take away. Let's connect with good people. Let's make sure that you and I actually make it a point to meet more often and Absolutely. get together. You Absolutely. know, hang out or do whatever. You know, maybe what we'll do is I think that I think this is done really well. I think maybe we'll do a live like this. We'll pick a, a men's lesson every time we do it. You know, a lesson. Oh, it's it's really for everybody. Sure. And, and let's do it regularly. I think that's a good thing. We have coffee. We sit down. We. Oh, we could it. do it in my office. Is like two blocks away. We let's could do, do it, it there. We could time. do we could do a live prostate prostate exam, exam if you want. Excellent. If you would like, would you teach me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it anytime you want. By the way.
We'll do it live. That's right. We'll <laughs> expose the uh, live prostate <laughs> exam. There we go. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Do I get to have a drink first? Uh, well, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> you, you won't get That's kissed right. first, for sure. That's right. Yeah, Peppy, we're going to do a live buzz next time. See, Peppy's asking, actually, to do a live buzz on BB, which we're going to do. Let's do it. Right. So the, By the way, I learned a lot about BB today. That was part of our reconnection here, so I'm excited with, 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 with what's going on. That's with right, BB, and next actually. time we'll do a live buzz. Um, one of the things we're waiting for, though, as you know, we're going to have live comments available on buzz. Uh, live buzz is coming forward, and this this conversation has really been enhanced by the live conversation. So when we have that feature, which is going to come out in our next version in January, we're going to do we'll definitely do live buzzes. Maybe we'll do them side by side. Like you'll do the Facebook, and I'll do the BB one, and we'll actually do it. So this way we can do two live. Absolutely, we can do that. We can do two live events at one time. I actually really like that idea. So does Pepe? I need to ask Pepe a soccer question. Can I do that? Go for it. So Pepe, I I, I love soccer now. I'm an American guy, not exposed to soccer at all while I was growing. Up three years ago, my daughter started playing. One of them is actually really good. I'm all in. I probably know that sport better than any other sport. So, who's better, Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo or Messi? Or Messi. Aren't they like both over the hill now? No, they still at their prime, I think, anyway. That's right. As best as I know, they're still at their prime. I, you know, they're at their prime. They're really, really good. <laughs> I guess Ronaldo, right? That's right, exactly. <laughs> take care, yeah? Okay, so we hope you the takeaway. We're going to end with the takeaway. Make sure that you make time every week, men out there. Make time. It's true for women, too, I guess. Make time. But women do these things naturally. Yeah, no, right. They do these things naturally. Ronaldo, Ronaldo yeah, right, right, right. way better. That's right. She's from Spain, too. Hi, Mammon. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna send you a picture that you, I want you to send to Pepe. Okay. Uh, my, my girls have this huge Ronaldo sign, shirt thing, everything that's really, really neat. So when I went to Madrid to visit the BB headquarters, they actually gave me a, um, a, a Real Madrid jersey. And they made me do like the... Uh, the goal, like when you point, to, when you score a goal. So I have a funny picture of myself pointing to, uh, to like I've actually scored a goal. <laughs> Good. Anyway, it's a great sport. If you want to follow either of us out there, you can follow me at M Sweetwood on Twitter or M Sweetwood, M Sweetwood dot com. And you know, I love that name. Do you really? Sweetwood. Sweetwood. Yes. It's I mean, as a as a urologist guy and a holistic it's practitioner great. for men's health. Yeah. Sweetwood. I wish I wish I could be Doctor Sweetwood. Sweetwood. That would be perfect <laughs> for you, but I use it as my adult film name. <laughs> <laughs> That's is that your day job or your night job? Um, lighting's better in the day, so we'll call it the day job. <laughs> And Dr. Geo can be found at drgeo.com. Excellent, yeah. And once again, I'm M. Sweetwood. I hope you enjoyed our talk today. I think we're done, right? We're, we're done. done. I think we kept them entertained long enough. And look for us. We're going to do this again. We really enjoyed this, so I hope you guys, you, how come a guy named Sweetwood can be single? I'll explain that oh. later to you. <laughs> Too funny. Good question. Everybody Good enjoy question, their Mark. week and enjoy your entrance into the holiday season. Take, Take care. care. So long. See so you well. well.